Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon the Trading Card Game. We just beat Courtney, we are about to fight the cheating ass Steve again. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to say right now, sorry if all I've been uploading recently is this, but, um, well actually by the time this goes up, I'm recording this on the 7th of November, but by the time this goes up I should have started uploading other stuff again, but... Usually, I mean, this is no, this is no, this is not news to you guys. I've been doing this for a while. Every time I get close to uh, ending a game, I always just end up uploading a lot of those episodes until it's done, just because I like to finish up projects, especially when they're close to being finished, so that I could focus on the other games. And I didn't really foresee this happening because it's never happened before, but I'm having trouble focusing on Final Fantasy VIII. It's like hard for me to get into it. And that's, I don't know how to deal with that, because I've never had that problem before. I've always been able to completely diverge my whole being into Final Fantasy VIII. But, I, I mean, I guess it's just because I'm LPing it, and I've got to talk at the same time. You know, that's just new to me for for the time being, at least. But once I get into Final Fantasy VIII, once we get into, like, <clears throat> oh, wow, I had, like, a bubble in my mouth. Once we get into the meat of it, and the bubble, <clears throat> bubble's still there. Once we get into the meat of it, it shouldn't be too bad, but I, I think finishing up Pokemon trading card game will really help. So, and I'm really excited about Pokemon Y, I just haven't been recording any of it, because like, I mean, I'm not just playing this just to finish it and uploading a bunch of it, it's because I'm really into this game right now, it's hard for me to focus on the other games, partly because I want to play this one right now, you know, that's just like, that's what it is. That's the cold hard facts right there. Alright, so what has he got? A Voltorb and a Zapdos? That's no good. So, you know, that's just the reason for that. So, that's my explanation, really, is that, um... It'll make it easier for me to focus, and I think we can all agree that that's a good thing. Peel of Thunder! And, oh wow, it actually did it to one of his Pokémon this time, instead of screwing me. Of course, if all I had was Abra on the field... Then it would have, you know, hit me, of course. <coughs> Steve's happy ass, what is he doing? Um, yeah, let's keep going with Ghastly, sure, why not? Do -do 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 -do. This is where the music gets really fucking epic, it's like, oh my god, it's epic as shit. Oh my god, it's epic as shit. Da -da 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 -da. But anyways, yeah, um, we are pretty close to the end here. I guess I should start talking about this. Um, there is some... This game doesn't have very much post-game. There is some stuff to do after you defeat the Grandmasters. But not much. And um, I've been kind of struggling with this idea of the whole LP. And that's, am, what am I going to do after I beat the Elite or the Grandmasters? Am I, I'm going to obviously do the final thing there is to do, like, duel-wise. But am I going to 100% the game fully and, like, complete the card album, go go for all the promos and all that? <clears throat> and the answer is probably no, just because that's the equivalent of, like, completing the Pokedex. And a, ooh. Uh, yeah, so that's, like, the equivalent of completing the Pokedex in a regular Pokemon game. And nobody even does that. Even people that are 100%ing it don't consider that part of it, because that's just tedium, 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 so it's like, I don't really count that, and, um, I might want to consider Gust of Winding here, yeah, Zapdos is really expensive, and he's got a high retreat cost, might want to do that, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know why I'm having throat issues today, but, yeah, so, I mean, what was I even talking about? Uh, oh yeah, completing the card out. I mean, there's not that many cards, there's only 226, but it's really hard to get those last few, especially when you, you just don't even know what they are. I mean, you could figure it out by going into the card library and stuff, but then you just gotta duel people over and over to get them, and once you get everything, I don't think there's anything special about it. It's not very exciting. So, it's kind of wiggity-whack, yo, but I don't know. I mean... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many I have by that point. If I'm, like, really, really close, like 215 or something, then maybe I'll just decide to go for it. But if not, then I won't. So, with that said, we are pretty close to the end here, depending on if I keep losing to these guys or not. Hey, it's another Ghastly, Rick Ghastly. I will try to paralyze him here, because thank you. 
he was either going to retreat or he only needs one more energy for his attack. Either way, not good. Yeah, buddy. I need to put any energies on. That's a good sign. Ooh, Haunter. It is the shit Haunter, but... Anything I can do to avoid dying here would be absolutely great. So let's go for that Hypnosis, and all we gotta do is wait, get two tails on his part, and then we can kill this Zapdos, actually, which would be amazing. Yes, that's one. One for the money. All I need is two for the show. Because I just can't wait to be king. On oh, one more tails, baby. Come on! Yes! Haha, <laughs> just what I needed. A beautiful, beautiful stroke of justice. It's my turn. Jinx, 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 jinx. Uh, we'll save the double colorless. All right, and it's time for Dream Eater. I believe you can take me there. Yeah, buddy, and we killed one of Steve Zapdos's. That is definitely an achievement all on its own. But Haunter's gonna die here from Sonic Boom, isn't he? Yeah. Well, Haunter, you did good. You killed a Zapdos. That, I couldn't have asked any more from you except for to kill everything on his team. I could have asked that of you, but that would have just been mean and unrealistic, now wouldn't it? It's another Jinx. Lovely. I will start psychicking up that Jinxy poo, because Jinx is good. And it only costs one energy to get started. Damn it, Ghastly, I need you to get that paralysis, bro, because if not, he's going to kill you. Plus, I'm not really fond of the whole self... What is that like in the background of Electrode? Are those buildings? Are those windows of like apartment buildings? Or what is that? I don't even sure. I think that's what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> but since when is that what he stood for? Since when is Electrode a... Thank you. Okay, we just need to get one more of those and then we can kill Electrode without him killing another one of my Pokemon and we can take the lead. So right now it's tied up 5-5. Five, five. Do 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 Gotta love this music, though, I'm telling you. Psychic energy, okay. Who are we gonna equip here? I guess another Jinx. Alright, come on, one more heads, coin. Damn it, well... Close enough, I guess. I'll be able to kill him with anything else, literally. So we'll still be tied up, but he's just gonna pull ahead first. Ghastly was knocked out. Uh... Oh. Jinxy poo, I suppose. Dude, check how much damage this is gonna do, yo. It's gonna be devastating. Oh, wait, I can't do meditate yet. Damn. I didn't know you need two psychic energies. I thought it was a uh, two colorless and one psychic. Oh well. As long as we get one heads here. Jinx! Thank you! Okay. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Holy crap. Alright, we're all tied up here. Professor Oak! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Electaboos. Mmm. Great, now he's got a whole nother Sonic Boom Electrode up there already. Great. Gotta love it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, 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 kind of debating on what to do here. <sighs> I'm gonna get the other Jinx ready. I'm sorry that I'm losing faith in you early, Jinx, but you've already got 30 damage on you. You're like damaged goods now. Ooh, Hadabara, that's what I was waiting for. Okay, now we're doing alright. Mew, hell yeah. Neutralize the shield. And the good haunter. There are no Pokemon capable of evolving. I really should have. What has he got? Yeah, he has got a lot of good shit. But, you know what? Oh, yeah. I mean, I really... The fact that that Electro's just got two energy on it just scares me, so let's... Let's just go for that. And I might as well use Potion on Jinx. She... she deserves it. And let me guess. No, okay. At least one. I'm fine with that. Because then I can Psychic her energy up next time and... Go for Meditity. Yeah, buddy! and meditate, so that'll do 30 damage, and then next turn it will do 50, or no, 60. Yeah, you're screwed, Electabooze. Ah, uh, how's it feel to be out of energy, you motherfucker? Alright, what now? Um, 
I do have another Kadabra, so let's get that Abra going. Never hurts to have more than one Kadabra on the field. Boop, boop, boop. Bee wee weep! Oh, yeah! Alright, so... Psychic Energy. Anyways, yeah, Pokemon Trading Card Game 2. I still haven't looked into that. I kind of need to do that because that's very, very important. Because, you know, obviously you do an LP, you look into doing the sequels too, like eventually. Obviously I've got a lot of stuff I plan to do in between that, because with the more and more new series, the more new series I'm picking up, like Final Fantasy, I'm now I'm delving into that big mess. And, um, you know, I've still got so many series to finish up on, and so many ones I want to start, like Crash Bandicoot. People keep asking me about Crash Bandicoot, and I'm just like, dude, you know, I want to start, but, um... I've just got so much other shit I'm doing right now. Alright, so Jinx is about to die, so now would be the perfect opportunity to retreat. To a little guy I like to know as Hudubro. And he is gonna use my favorite attack ever. Super Psy. Super Sonic Electronic. And now he's probably gonna retreat like a bitch, huh? Oh, he's gonna go for Sonic Boom. He only needs one more energy to do, like, Explosion or whatever. That would probably be a better strategy by him, honestly. Okay, we've got two Kadabras. Do I turn one into Alakazam? Maybe. I don't know. Um, somebody suggested getting rid of Alakazam in my deck and just using Kadabra, Kadabra since he's theoretically better. He does more damage and he's got Recover. But Alakazam is useful. Confusion is really broken in this game, and if the opponent can't switch out to heal it... They're really screwed because Confusion can never be healed, and the fact that Kadabra can do 30 damage, or Alakazam can do 30 damage along with that, and maybe inflict the status effect and damage swap, damage swap alone is just worth it. Psychic Energy. Oh, I got a... What? Oh, he put in his Zapdos. Oh, that's the legendary Zapdos, I think. Or no, 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 the Zapdos is the, like, level... <clears throat> 37 one. This one's 40. This is a different Zapdos. I think this one's really cheap, too, so we better get him out of there pretty quickly. <sighs> da -da -da -da. Get Mew going. And go for Super Psy, that's all I really know how to do. I'm still holding off evolving that other Alakazam, just in case this Kadabra dies and I need to do 50 damage. It's good to have him on hand, because I can always evolve him later when I need to. Of course, if I evolve the other guy into Alakazam now, I can do damage swap to keep this Kadabra fully safe. So there's that that I gotta worry about. Um, there we go, now that Jinx can get back to doing it. Alright, and there goes Zapdos. A lot of his Pokemon are high cost, so I honestly don't think he'll be able to recover here. I don't think he can get energy on his guys as fast as he needs to. Maybe if he had Super Energy Retrieval. Oh, here we go. Now he's doing, now he's playing smart. He's gonna use the Eevee to stall us while he gets like a Jolteon going. Well, there you go like a free ability basically. I mean I wouldn't be able to do much damage to the thing anyway. Double colorless, oh yeah that does me a whole hell of a lot of good. Da, 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 da. And it's not really a status infliction so full heal won't really help there. Um, Who do I got on the bench? Yeah everybody's psychic. It'd be nice to draw Snorlax or Torlo Tauros right now. But um, can I still use recover? Okay. I mean, if I can't do damage, that's fine, but then, because then I can waste the turn using Recover. What are you going to do? Just evolve it into Jolteon, please. Oh, you're stupid, dude. Well, actually, no, that's smart. He could kill me. Yep. So it's going to do, like, 40 damage with plus power? Yep. But guess what? I've got another Hadabara Indoix. Fully not damaged. Guess it was a good idea to not turn him into... Alexam, after all, because Alexam can't do any damage to Eevee, but it can confuse it. However, Kadabra can do 20 damage to Eevee still, so that's good. Plus, he can recover. So, hell yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with doing 20 damage to it. Won't take that long to kill it. He's already used some potions, so chances are he doesn't got much else going. And he's going to go for the 40 damage here. And, of course, he's going to get it because he is Steve, right? And how many plus powers does he have in his deck? Probably a lot. It's a Gengar. Too bad I don't have any stupid guys on my deck or on my bench. Um, I'm just going to continue going for Super Side. Because all I need to do now is bring Jinx in and her whatever will kill you. Because it will do 60 damage. Oh, smart move. Or not, because now I can kill you with literally anything. And if you fail here, you won't kill me. Oh, you got it, of course. 
He has three prizes left still, so we're okay. I can afford for Kadabras to die. And now you lose. You lose! Good day, Steve! And meditate, or meditate, whatever. And that is a good 60 damage, and that is the game, Steve. We finally beat Steve. Hell yeah! It sucks that you don't get, like, individual prizes for these duels, because, like, what if I get to the last guy and then lose? It's just like the Elite Four, you know? Except at least Elite Four, you get money for winning. You're the winner, and you're the greatest. With that skill, I feel we can give you the legendary Pokemon cards. Very good, Scope. Your next opponent is Jack. Come on, Jack Galantern, Jacko Smacko. Ah, Jack, I'm your third opponent. You shall not be able to defeat my splendid deck. Come, I shall prove it to you. Scope, have you read it, your deck? I'm ready. Very well, then, let us begin the duel. Shall we start? There will be six prizes. Oh, that was Jack talking, sorry. Okay, Grandmaster Jack with the legendary Articuno deck. The Arctic one. Articuno is very, very much a bitch because he can paralyze you with the greatest of ease, and it is not fun when he decides to do that. Um, that's all I can do. Because that's why he's one of my favorite cards to use in my deck personally because paralyzation sucks. Um, and he's got a Ditto, which he's going to transform. Can't have that happening. So it would obviously be best to kill that guy ASAP, but are we going to be able to do that? Of course not. Oh, another bill. Lovely. Double colorless super energy removal. Retrieval, I mean. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Trade two of the other cards in your front four basic energy cards. From Does it let me use this even if there are... Okay, I was going to say, because I kind of want to get throw two cards in that thing, because then I can use Mewtwo's energy absorption. Oh, I could just use Computer Shift, okay. So we throw the Psychic on Mewtwo. We use Computer Search, and let's use it for another bench Pokemon, since we don't have any right now. And I'll use it for... Oh, wait, i got to pick the cards to get rid of. Let's get rid of Psychic. And Psychic. And since I have two double colorless in my hands, I'm going to search for the... Very, very OP, Mr. Snorlax. Yes, buddy. And we'll put him on the bench. Thick skinned, of course. And, um. That's gonna be it for now, and we'll have me. Oh, wait, this isn't the Mewtwo with energy retrieval. Okay, well, I can still get those back with super energy retrieval. Holy shit, how did I not foresee that? Well, whatever. Minor miscalculation, of course, minor miscalculations can cost you very, very much in duels like these. Extremely so. Alright, can I, um, let's get Mewtwo going first, and then I'll start working on Snorlax. Alright, and what does Psychic do? It does, uh, I think it, oh, it does 10 damage plus 10 for each count, or er, energy on them. So 20 damage. He puts in a, and he's going to start putting more energy on that guy because he's going to want to try to get Ditto to use more because if he has... Oh, fucking resist. Yeah, I really need to get that Snorlax going. No, he's attaching it to Seal? Okay. Yeah, we need to get Snorlax going big time here. Ghastly. Okay, another bench Pokemon is good. Uh, Snorlax. Okay. That's all I'll do for now. Oh, I should have set a barrier if I was smart. Oh, he's got another ditto? Hmm. Interesting. A Tauros. Cool. Alright, let's get Snorlax going. Retreat Mewtwo 3. Are you kidding me? Ah! No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to set a barrier, because then... Fuck, dude. Three energy cards? Are you kidding me, Mewtwo? Now that seals OP as shit, you can evolve it into Dugong. Right there, now I gotta pay your expensive ass three retreat cost. I hope you're happy. Alright, Snorlax, do your worst. Well, that's not your worst, buddy. You could have paralyzed him, but fine. Whatever. Let him get off another pound. Great. Ah, uh, see what I mean? He's just setting up. Because I made a big mistake by sending that Mewtwo. Well, I had to. He was my only Pokemon. I, that's the only way I was going to... You know, it was the only Pokemon in my hand. What am I supposed to friggin' do? Alright. Getting Ghastly going would be nice here. I'm 
gonna, do I have to discard two other cards in my hand? Yeah, because I don't want to get rid of Professor Oak. We'll wait till next turn to do that. And let's kill this ditto. Take the early lead here. Of course, are we really in the lead? Because of all... Look at how many bench Pokemon he's got ready, raring to go, and I have nada. And he's got a Dugong, which is really, really scary. With three energy... <sighs> Aurora Beam. 50 fucking damage that does. 50 damage! That is crazy. Crazy. Okay, this may seem stupid, but I yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a cadaver. Um hmm. If I could paralyze please, Snorlax, please, 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 please. Dude, come on, this is the one time it would have really, really helped Snorlax. The one time. Uh, of course. I, the coin is just not my friend. It's never going to be. It's going to hate me forever. Alright, we're tied up, and he's got the advantage here because he can do 50 goddamn fucking damage. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Wait, why did I put that on? Oh, can I go back? Can I go back? God, I should have put that on Tauros. What the fuck was I thinking? Because then I could do Rampage. Oh, but Rampage, never mind. Rampage would have been stupid to use because that only does damage based on how much damage Tauros has taken. But the good thing is he's going to use Roar Beam here. I'm going to have 50 damage. And I'm going to kill him. Of course, I could kill him if I just get a heads on Stomp too and not risk a pair of or confusing Tauros, but then I have to rely on the coin to kill this guy, and we all know how well that turns out, right? So let's just go for the guaranteed kill here, Rampage, and of course, right? Of course. Why does it show Slash? That's not what Rampage would do. Okay, we killed his Dugong, though, and I'm definitely switching out of Tauros the very first chance I get, but of course he's going to kill me here. Yeah, he's going to use Water Gun. Good, I mean, I was confused anyway. What good was I going to do? And I have more space on my bench. Fine. We're all tied up. Alright, so the question is, who do I send in now? The fucking almost half-dead Mewtwo or Ghastly? Might as well send in Mewtwo. <sighs> um, I mean, I guess. It's kind of weak, but... If he just puts one more water energy on that thing, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. A little screwed here. You know what? I'm gonna have to just use Professor Oak here because I need some more basic Pokemon cards. It's just a fact because I'm gonna die here. Pretty damn soon. Abra? Okay. Is this the good? Yes, it's Transparency Hunter. Thank the fucking lord. Yeah, buddy. I needed that. Alright, does he have anything? Yes. Okay, I'm using Gust of Wind. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Lapras. Ditto, baby. And... Okay. Let's use Nightmare. I can much easier kill this thing than I can this stupid... Oh, well, Resistance, you didn't think about that, did you, smartass? Fuck. I may have just signed my own death certificate. Oh, God, I'm just gonna get trolled in the comments. You guys are gonna freaking hate me for doing such stupid things. I'm playing this game like a dumbass. And now he's gonna build up his stupid ass. Now he's gonna build up his stupid ass thing in the background. Lord, I'm so fucking dumb. God, I can't be any stupider. I can't. I literally hate myself right now. I'm gonna ruin this for me. Look at this, and he's getting a fucking never ending string of boats. He's, he's waking up right away, and he's getting through my transparencies. Look at that! Perfect rolls from the coin from him. Perfect. And what about me? Nothing. Should have left that stupid Lapras in. Oh, oh, God, I hate myself. Fuck. God, even with Gengar, even if I evolved him into Gengar, I wouldn't be able to do anything because... 
he would resist all 30 damage. I would just be able to bench it. Look at this! Can he... Game, I'm the underdog here! Why are you giving them the good rolls, dude? What the fuck? Six in a row? Perfect! Ah, I real. Do I have a fucked up ROM or something? I mean, God. This is not- this can't be right. It can't be. I- I don't ever believe it. I can't. Oh my god, wow. Holy shit. You know it's bad when you're just like, okay, one roll went his way, that's amazing. Oh my god, two in a row. Okay, if I could draw the other hunter, I could switch the ghastly into him and use Dream Eater. But of course, that's not gonna happen. Plus, I don't, oh, I don't have enough energy for it anyway. Um, he's already asleep. There's really no point in using Nightmare. Okay, okay. You deserve those shitty rolls. You know that, right, Ditto? Please retreat. He's gonna use Morph now. But that's good, because that changes his type, right? Doesn't it? Like, I'm not sure. Mew. I could use this to use de-evolution beam, but I don't even think he has anything evolved. I kind of want to let him use more, because if that changes him to my top, I can get super effective hits on him. Okay, well, yeah, let's see what he does. Is he going to go for it? Oh, that fucking Lapras. Well, damage counters from Ditto. For the rest of the game, replace Ditto with a copy of basic Pokemon card chosen... Oh, that's not even what I thought it would... Dude, Ditto doesn't morph to anything. Oh, no. I can't do anything to that thing. I've lost. I can't kill that thing. I can't do any damage to it. And look how much HP it has. I can't do anything. I've lost. I might as well give up here. There's nothing I can do against that thing. Fucking Chansey, are you kidding me? I can't do anything against that guy. I can't do anything against that guy. I... Seriously, I might as well throw in the towel. I know it sounds defeatist, and I know it sounds like I'm quitting, but I... I honestly, that's it. And I've only got 18 cards left, and I, I need to speed up the offensive. And my offensive has just been effectively stalled uh, completely. There's not a goddamn thing I can do. Uh, if I get another Psychic Energy... No cards in hand. Gotta love that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here. All I can hope to do is have a stall fest with my putting to sleep and transparency, but honestly, what good is that gonna do? Because I can't do any damage to this thing. Unless he retreats, which he's not going to. <laughs> Gotta love it, right? Okay, if I can get it to stay asleep one of these times, then I'm going to switch into Kadabra and try to do some damage to this thing. God damn it, dude, seriously? Or at least if it can fail a scrunch. Thank you, okay. Let's get somebody in here who can actually... Fucking Haunter, no retreat cost, gotta love that shit. Okay, look, now I can actually do some damage to this thing, a measly 20, and it's got 120 HP, but better than nothing, I guess. Because it's looking like all this thing can do is scrunch. Oh, God, and I can only damage it when it gets tails on that. Double colors, okay, I need to save that in case I get a fucking... In case I get a Snorlax or something that can actually do damage to these things. Yes, just take water energies, who cares? Dude, that Lapras water gun is gonna be so OP, it's not even funny. If I ever even do kill this Chansey by some miracle, which I can't, because he's getting all the fucking coin rolls he needs, then it... Then I'll never be able to kill that Lapras. Come on, game, just stop screwing me with the coin! Come on, you're making this impossible for me! Don't you want to give me a chance? That's what makes it fun for me! You're making this not fun! Cock a wrangler, dude! Fuck! 
it's so tipped in his favor. And it's not just him, it's everybody in this. What the fuck? I can't even understand how that is okay. I can't even. Ugh. Wow, yeah, fucking take something off that shitty Lapras. No. How much does he need to do scrunch? Double edge, 80 damage. Yeah, that's what I need to see. Lord. It doesn't matter. I've lost. There is no way I can win this. I've still got four prizes to draw. Are you kidding me? It's impossible. I've only got ten cards. Yeah, there's no humanly way. It's physic. I'm calling it right now. I've lost. There's no physical way I can win this duel. It's absolutely impossible and improbable in every way. Not gonna happen. If I get lucky by the end of the duel, I'll kill the Chansey. If I get lucky. Which is not gonna happen. Oh man, I wish that Lapras had 10 more damage on it, I tell you. baby 50 damage what are you gonna do are you gonna use water gun he retreated ah put our coon to play during your turn flip a coin if heads the defending pokemon is now paralyzed and let's just guess what the coin's gonna be guys post a comment what you think it's gonna be oh well those of you who said tails would be right and now he's got a 40 damage lapis oh 30 I thought it was 10 plus, whatever. Well, uh, I don't want my cadaver to die here, dude. Really cost three to retreat him. I didn't want to retreat him, but he's gonna die, dude. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, I hate this. God, if he wouldn't have retreated there, I would have had a tr maybe the slightest possible chance. Of course, right? Fuck this game. Fuck this fucking crooked ass game, you know what I mean? Like, seriously? And now he's just gonna throw Articuno on the bench again so he can just keep using Quick Freeze. Fuck, dude. If I've ever seen hacks, it's like, god, it's like this game doesn't want the OP to end. It's trying to prolong it as long as possible. It's trying to make me keep playing fucking Elite Four over and over again like that's any fun! No! You know, I've only got five cards in my hand. There is zero way I can win. Just fucking... Just let me lose. Can we do that? You're really gonna make me, like, play still? I'm dead. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Like, it matters. Kill me. Yes, who cares? Okay, yeah, come on, do you really need to do that? Just wait till my turn and you win. It's not hard. Okay, yes, water gun, lovely. Just end it already. Mmm, big surprise. Fucking crooked ass coin. Yeah, there you're right, there is no way, and it's not that I could have defeated your Splendid Deck, there's no way I could have overcome the fucking odds that that shitty coin threw at me. Fuck you, Rod, why don't you suck my Rod, okay? Asshole.